we are dealing very closely with Natural England, uh, working with them towards finding a fair and an equitable solution that ultimately has the best interests of the grassland on this site at its heart. For 18 months now we've been uh, monitoring the light levels, the soil temperature, the moisture content in the soil, the wind levels. This site is noted in the citation particularly for the paucity of species in the grassland. It noted that it's a habitat in decline before our involvement and uh, the intention is to improve the habitat. We are suggesting to Natural England that by working closely with us uh, that we can improve the grassland in a very effective way by allowing the solar park to go ahead as been agreed by the local planning authority. We can pump funds into this project and improve the vast majority of this site. Because the land that we develop will be out of agriculture and protected from development for at least 25 years, it's the only chance a lot of this land will ever have to recover. In terms of renewable energy, ecology, I think it's an opportunity which we need to embrace. There's no doubt that we are running towards a power cliff in this country. We have a technology that is rapidly deployable, works very efficiently and when combined with other technologies is, is the answer to our energy problem going forward. I believe if common sense prevails this will be a set apart before the end of the year. We accept that there are different perspectives but I expect this solar park to be built and operating and sorting out the national shortage of energy um, in, in very short space of time.